Welcome to Pro Kitchen 7.0 video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the revised angle and corner fillers. So I've got a design open here, just begging for a few fillers. So we're going to drop down here to fillers, and these are available in the walls, the base, the talls, and the vanities, but I don't have walls, bases, or talls or vanities in there, so we're just going to do the base base angle fillers. We've got BAFR, BAFL. These are our base angle fillers. They will go either on the right or the left of the um, pulled out cabinet. And so I'm going to grab my right and drop in out here. Grab a left and drop in out there. And now we've got those two in there. So they were quick and easy. It would just slam bam and drop them out there. I'm going to drop one out here all by itself. Now this guy, you can change the, the size on it by going to Attributes. Here in Attributes, you'll see that our depth is 27, that's to the long point. So if you needed that to go from 21 to 24, just come in there and chop it right down, and away you go. Now the other fillers we want to take a look at are the corner fillers. And that's these two guys down here, BCF1 and BCF2. We're going to take BCF2, drop it right out here where it should be. Now this is a nice square corner filler. It's got the square in the back, so it's going to go to your walls. Um, you'll notice my distance here between my base 18s. One's 26 inches from the wall corner. The other one's 27 inches from the corner. You notice that filler popped right in there and filled it right in. Um, makes it quick and easy. No must, no fuss. You don't have to tell it what to do. Just drop it on the plan. Um, this guy has it all the way to the back, so your countertop's going to angle all the way back through there. Now this other guy, this guy's really handy if you're doing things like islands and what have you, where you don't want that square corner in the back. This guy cuts off here at, well, I'd say 45, but it's really not because our distance here in the front is different. Um, if our distance were both 26 or both 27 inches out of the corner, then we'd have a 45. Uh, but in this case, it just it fills in that distance, it fills in that angle. And yeah, really great for doing on islands and stuff like that where you're putting a panel across the back and you don't want that square corner sticking out there. So with these two additions for the fillers, it should allow you to spend a lot more time with your customer, a lot more time doing other things than trying to finagle fillers into place. So this has been the Pro Kitchen 7.0 angle and corner filler video tutorial. Thank you for watching.